Good morning. Welcome back to Gaming with ADHD. Today we are continuing our look at Shadowrun Duels, which I do hope you are a bit more familiar with now that I'm halfway through the figures that I have available to review. If not, check out some of the other videos in the series to see some more fantastic Shadowrun figures. Now, if you want a short overview of the product line, don't forget I did uh, put that in my review of Lothan the Wise. Uh, again, will be linked in the description. Uh, also, I have set up an affiliate link with DriveThruRPG. If you like your role-playing books in PDF format, there's a link in the description where you can help support the channel. So, today I want to take a look at the human female for Wave 1 of Shadowrun Duels, uh, Kiyushi. Now, keep in mind, this is a review just of the figure and its accessories that you would receive at the time of purchase. Uh, I do have uh, nine of the 13 figures, and I will be doing a review of the gameplay once I look at all the figures that I have and also get a couple of games under my belt. So, let's dig into this and let's see what we get with Kyushi. So, Kyushi is a female human Yakuza. Uh, she is figure number two in the series. She stands uh, about five and a half inches tall. Uh, she has swappable hands. Her accessories include the Colt M22A2 rifle. Uh, looks like it has a grenade launcher on that, but I don't believe it has specific rules for it. She also gets the Ares Viper Silver Gun. It's got some good detail on that. She also comes with the Dragon Amulet. Now, she has a couple more pieces of equipment. Uh, one of them is a knife, which is here on her wrist it is actually glued in place so uh it does give her there are points for the that particular item but there's no way to take it off uh in addition she does have the vest or flak jacket uh this is actually removable uh but just because of you know, how it's positioned and her arms, which I will get into when I review the figure, uh, I am actually not taking the vest off, okay? As far as game accessories, she does come with her action base uh, with the three combat dials. She comes with a green D10, two white and two yellow six-sided dice. and a red and yellow D4. And then finally, like all the other figures, a paper tape measure for measuring uh, movement, range to opponents, things like that. So let's actually take a look at the figure now. So like all of the figures, I think they did great with the production quality, okay? Um, I think it looks, uh, it looks really well, or it looks really good. <laughs> uh, my mom is going to be super upset over my horrible English. Uh, but I think, the biggest problem with Kiyushi is the same problem that we had with the Liata figure. She has one, two, three, four points of articulation. That's it. There's no knee joints. There's no ankle joints. There's no hip joints. Okay. Uh, there's also no elbow joints. Okay. So her arms are stuck in the positions that we see here. Um, she does have the swappable hands so that you could take this one off and replace it with a hand that has a pin on it. Um, this hand already has a pin on it. 
And as I've said in previous reviews, I'm actually not removing the hands just because of the age of the figures. So I don't want to mess that up. Um, overall though, uh, I think the face is done fantastically. If I could get it to focus so you can take a look at it. There we go. So I think the face looks really good. Um, I like the, the way that they did the hair. Um, is it chopsticks or what? I don't know. Uh, looks like she's got a bandage here on her arm uh, with some sort of uh, just dirt or something on it. Uh, also the different tattoos, one on her wrist, one on the upper arm there. Uh, she's got a watch belt pouches, more tattooing on this arm. Uh, let's see if we can get a little closer. This looks like a dragon of some kind. Uh, I also like that they that they put the, the bangs on there. It just gives it uh, a little bit of a different feel. And then also even in here, the, the fact that they got the detail on the collar uh, to pull that out, so that was pretty good. Um, I believe this one had come apart, uh, but I did glue it back. Uh, her leg came out of the boot, so technically it is a separate piece, but not designed to be that way. Uh, there's some really good detail here on the boots. Um, you know, the fact that they got all of the laces without uh, without slopping too much into the leather portion of the boots. Uh, I really like how this came out. Um, uh, let's see. Also, the coloring on the vest. I've been want, meaning to say that, just forgot. Um, I think it it it's really good the way that they get the weathering in there uh, to just bring out some extra detail. So drawbacks to the figure, uh, as I've said in previous reviews, I don't like the plastic pins. Um, you know, I've had some break on figures. She does have a pin here on her hip as well. Um, and I think the biggest drawback, like I said, is the four points of articulation on the figure. Uh, one thing I realized I hadn't been doing on previous reviews is actually showing the figures holding some of the items. So we'll get some of those on here. So you can get an idea. So... So I think that's a little bit of a problem with the dragon amulet that definitely hangs down really low. So maybe shorten up the string, but that does also let the, the longer string does allow you to reuse it on other characters such as Lothan the Wise. Um, yeah, I mean, if you size the string for her neck, you are not getting it around that troll neck. Uh, there's the gun. So that's definitely one downside is with the static arms, there's not a whole lot you can do. You can't bring it in and out uh, to hold it two-handed. Um, there are definitely limitations there. Uh, now, the figures are 18 years old. I realize that manufacturing technology has dramatically improved. I don't think these figures would be as static if they were made today, but this is also one downside I think with the the pin system is you know you out you end up with these you know weird kind of mitten looking hands uh just sitting on the outside of the 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 item so and then we've got her pistol here on her hip but overall good looking figure uh Kyushi uh is another figure where all of her accessories will fit into the action base. So 
So give me a moment and I will show you that. Um, here's the action base. You have the three dials, the base dice that she has, the base cost for the figure. Uh, looks like she also gets a damage bonus. Uh, don't forget the base also had effectively a cheat sheet for what the different dice meant and what they were used for. Uh, also the different uh, dials on the base, what they what they represent. So um, let's put these back in the base. So as I said, all of her accessories do fit and held nice and secure. She fits right on the base, nice and snug, ready to move around the game surface. So, in conclusion, what do I think of Kiyushi? Uh, overall, it's, it's a good figure. Uh, I definitely like it better than the look of the Street Deacon that we looked at last week. Uh, like I said, the detail, the coloring that they have uh, on the figure are are really good. I, I think they did very well with it. I just have a problem with how static this figure is. I mean, basically, when you put this figure on the base, this is what it's going to look like. You're really not going to get uh, much different of a look from the figure. And, you know, again, I've, I've mentioned, you know, that they were made 18 years ago, but I think they could have been made a little bit better. Um, you know, I do like that they made the vest removable, uh, although, like I said, I'm not removing it. It's not, at this, at this age, it's not worth removing the vest. So, um, you know... Other than that, like I said, I do like this figure. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at her with me. Um, obviously, if you've got any questions, put them down below. Uh, you know, I will. You know, do my best to answer all of them with the information that I have. And uh, you know, don't forget if there's any PDFs you want to pick up, we do have the Drive Through RPG link down below. But overall. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate all of the, the, the likes and views from everybody. Uh, if, you, if you did enjoy it, please give it a like. Uh, if you haven't yet, I would absolutely appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to put out uh, lots of different content. Uh, I'm trying to get short videos out every day of the week. Uh, so, you know, more subscribers obviously helps with the motivation to keep that, to keep that up. Uh, and to, this ADHD brain needs it. So anyways, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it and we'll see you next time.